Alabong, Sakao, Ikaura. Move up. Julie's here and I'm with my husband, Kevin. Hello. We've been thinking uh, that because our travel plans were um, canceled to the Philippines, as most of you know, it was pretty important to me to kind of learn, learn some of the language in order to speak with uh, some of the friendly Filipinos. Uh, they always want to talk to you. So last time I was there, I knew nothing. I didn't get to talk to a lot of the uh, friendly people over there. So this time I had asked Julie to, uh, hey, teach me some words. Uh, I'll get uh, the ability to be able to speak to some of the um, some of the older, more mature-aged um, folks over there. They're just as friendly, but they don't know English very well compared to some of the newer generations coming along. So, yeah. Yeah. So it would be beneficial, uh, we wanted to put this video out there because we thought some of our friends and some of the people watching that want to travel to the Philippines, maybe they might learn something uh, <laughs> from these words <laughs> and uh, be able to have a better experience than what I did my first trip there. Alright, so our video for today is really all about um, learning Bisaya words and what it means in English. So Kevin will tell us what he learned from those words, and we'll see if he got it right. So, right. and I think you're, he, and I think he's gonna get it right because he said if he's been practicing. Yeah, for quite a while now. Three years. Yeah, probably three years, but not every day, obviously. Um, I, you know, just pick things up. So, okay. but there are a lot of basic words, and these will be the basic ones. So, okay. Go ahead. All right. So, the first word. Is how do you say yes in Visaya? Oh. Yay! That's correct. How about no? Dilly. Or as Americans would say, Dilly Dilly. But <laughs> So, how about um? Because in the Philippines, it is very important to respect older people. What do you call to older woman in the Philippines? Uh, ate. So, ate. Ate? Ate? Ate. Ate. That's correct, honey. I'm just kidding. I was hope I was correct. <laughs> okay, so ate is correct. How about for the guys? Kuya. Kuya? Kuya would be an older guy and an older woman would be ate. And uh, then there's younger. Yeah, what is a younger one? A younger woman, younger than me woman would be uh, indai. And then uh, a younger male or boy would be um, ondong. Oh, <laughs> very good, very good. Hala, oy, good job, good job honey. Mm. Oh. Good job ayo. Um, how about yes? <laughs> this is really funny too. So you guys know in the Philippines, whenever there is an American American goes to the Philippines, people would always say, Hey Joe! <laughs> hey Joe! <laughs> and uh, it was really pretty funny because um, I didn't know what it meant at first, obviously. So um, you should probably know that that's just their way of saying hello. Don't uh, don't get caught off guard, or you know, if your name really is Joe, then Joe. <laughs> you, you automatically are gonna believe everybody knows who you are. And you're gonna be right? like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they know me, they know me. But really, they're just saying hi, big, tall, super white uh, American. I think you know that's really what it means. So, but it's kind of nice. I'm just. Everywhere you go, hey Joe, and it just means hey, hello. Joe. So just be be nice and give him a hey back. So yeah, that's a funny one. Yeah, hey Joe. Next word is good, like good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good is my uh, ayong. My ayong. My ayong. My ayong. And 
Yeah. Morning uh, would be uh, Mayong Buntag. Afternoon boy? would be Mayong Hakpong. <laughs> and then evening would be Mayong so, Gabi'i. Mayong Gabi'i. Uh, very good. Okay, so yes. <clears throat> they, they can't fool you over there because he knows, he knows some words. So yes. <laughs> you can't fool Kevin over there. <laughs> Now when they're all talking, I'll be able to pick up some of the words as they're speaking amongst themselves at least. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be sitting in a corner by myself. He did this also learning in Visaya so that he can talk to my family as well, which is... Oh, you're so sweet to me. <laughs> yeah, we Skype, we Skype back and forth and, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. It used to be all we would do is go, hi. <laughs> But now we can at least uh, communicate a few words, uh, respectful right. words. Basically, some of them respectful words would be good morning or good evening or, you know, good afternoon. Good job, good job, good job, good job. You're gonna get a price later. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's imaginary price. <laughs> okay, next word. Hey. How about when you say thank you? Salamat. Uh, wait, it's yeah. really funny. The first, how do you pronounce the salamat first? Uh, the first time. <laughs> That's the, basically the first word I learned over there. Uh, I I called it salamat. <laughs> salamat. So everywhere uh, salamat. I went and we came out or something, I would go so salamats or whatever, and they would they'd all go <laughs> and it'd be like salamat, salamat. Yeah. He finally got it now. Yeah, after I got back here. All right. <clears throat> What's gonna be the next word? Let me think. How about I say what? Unsa. 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 Oh, unsa. Very good, boy. Unsa. Very good. I'm supposed to say unsa. Yes, unsa. Oh. Unsa. So how about when I ask question, um, where is? Where? Uh, where is Asa? Uh -huh. So you have Asa, that was easy to learn. Asa, where, Unsa, what? Oh, uh, very good, very good. I'm so impressed, um, honey. Oh my goodness. But why? Why was not very easy to learn? <laughs> yes, what is why? Unsa, um, Asa, and then you get to why, and it's Nana. <laughs> Nana. <laughs> Nana. It's not Nano. No. 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 He can't pronounce no. He would pronounce it no. 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 Okay, so no. No. is why. Yes. Why? Okay, so next word is going to be about when you travel. So when you travel in the Philippines, it's very important as well. You know what's going on. So Kevin is really smart, so he's trying to learn the words. What are the essential words that he's going to use if he travels all over the Philippines? Yeah, because um, traveling over there is not like traveling in America. <laughs> I mean, they do have cabs and everything, but they have uh, motorcycle taxis, they've got tricycle taxis, they've got jeepneys, mm -hmm. and, and they all are, they all will come up to you and they're everywhere to offer you a ride. So I need to know how to communicate with a taxi driver. So yeah, if you are already in a, in a cab, honey, for example, so if you travel and you will ask the, the cab driver, what is um, a fare? A uh, fare is uh, pliti. <laughs> pliti, fare. Oh, pliti. pliti. Oh, okay. Yes, and you said, you said how much. And yes, how much. How, how much what? is pila? Ah, uh, pila, so. Pila. Ah, uh, very good. So, if you say pila pliti. Oh. Pila pliti, how much. Ah, uh, so it's how much pila is Pila pliti, how much. Okay. <laughs> you sound like Chinese. <laughs> Uh, very good. So you, you guys can't fool Kevin in the Philippines <laughs> if he goes there. Yes, and what if they uh, what if they try to scam me uh, with a higher amount, which I hear does happen over there. So there's different ways to. I'm, I'm learning all that so that I won't, you know, get scammed. I guess. <laughs> uh, money. So money, what is money is quarter. Ah, uh, quarter. So how much fare is pila pliti? 
It could be Pila Puerta. Pila like, Puerta? Yeah, how much money? Oh yes, okay, yeah. yeah, they will understand even if he, because there, it's kind of broken Bisaya as well. But <laughs> they will still understand when they said, when you say Pila Puerta. You, if you really complete the sentence, you would say Pila Imong Puerta. Imong. Imong Puerta. Imong. Say Imong. 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 <laughs> so, then I, I know a very, very good response for a cab driver or someone that, that you are encountering and it has to do with quarta. My token response that I learned was Mahal. What is Mahal? mahal. What's Mahal? Oh, Mahal. <laughs> Dili. Mahal. Dili. <laughs> Dili. Okay, so, Mahal. <laughs> so you learn Dili, that's no. And Mahal is expensive. So, oh, so as gosh. soon as they give you the amount, you can go, oh. So you get really fool him because he knows what is mahal. If it's if really expensive, you, he's not gonna. And he already knows the pricing as well. Do you? <laughs> not really. I still rely on Julie. Oh, <laughs> so they can still fool you. So no other how would you still be able to fool me? How would you differentiate the mahal and the cheap and the cheap one? Because your dollar. You are a dollar base. So, How are you gonna do so that? So cab driver comes up, I need to travel across town and I say, hey, Pila Pliti uh, or Pila Quota. And he says, you know, 1,000 peso. So is that? And so then I say, or oh, Dili Mahal. Mahal. And then I say, Barato? 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 So, barato means cheap. Okay, so no, I mean, how would you know if it's cheap or not? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. How would I know that? Experience. So if it's I really... I would know that by having experience, I guess. Oh, so that's all. Next time, honey, we'll, we'll, we will study math. Yeah. <laughs> right now, it's English. <laughs> I'm, next math, time, math. That's my favorite. <laughs> Um, what else? Oh, how about uh, when you say, because you already know Salamat, how about when you say you're welcome? Um, why Sapien? <laughs> why Sapien? Why Sapien? Why Sapien? How about, because in the Philippines it's always so hot over there, and you know, what if people will ask you? Kainin. Um, Kain. Oh, very Hot. good. Kainit, Hot. yes. Hot. That's not really my question yet, but oh. yeah, you got it right. He got oh. it right. Oh. So, <laughs> yes, so it's really hot there, and people will ask, Do you have water? Oh, too big. Yeah. Too big. Sounds too really big. funny to me to use the word too big. <laughs> too but, but that's the word. You got any too big? Uh, I'm, I'm Kainit. I'm in it. How about some pensit? <laughs> <laughs> After you drink so much too big water, yes. then I'm gonna have to go pee. So, what so is I had to learn that word as well. I figured it was pretty important. And really, I guess the appropriate question is just CR. CR? Where's go to the CR. CR? Where's the right. CR? Yes. Right, but I guess you know you get a lot of funny looks if you walk around going uh, Melbom. <laughs> So really you should just probably say uh, CR. Oh my god. Asa so CR. Asa CR. The only bang word and it is really funny though because when I when I teach you um the word it was so funny you pronounce it so cool. It's so cool. Malibang sa cool and yes. go poop. At least you got the main word and it's understandable and it's not easy for him to learn the Saya word too. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to have her spell them out for mm -hmm. to, to practice them. So at any rate, those are a lot of great words. So those are, if you learn those words, right honey, I'd be able to kind of travel as well as communicate the basics mm -hmm. over in the Philippines and also... There's still more. How about more. when you say, um, how are you? You know how are you. Como esta? Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good, very good. Um, how, when you say kumusta, then how are you gonna respond? I mean, I'm fine. Ikaw? No! Dili? 
Nikara? Oh, no, it's um, okay, Ra. I'm fine. Okay, Ra. Yeah. So he knows those, but he's just kind of confused between okay and ikaw. Yeah, and I certainly don't want to insult anybody over there. Ikaw, Ra? Trying to be friendly. Alabang, <laughs> sakao, ikaw, Ra? Go with me. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, so far he learned a lot of Bisaya words. Very impressive because he learned by himself. I don't really teach him. I should, right? I should. Teach well, I ask you. I mean, you teach me. So. Right? So. The ones I can remember. I have yeah. So those are the words that he learned, and he's gonna be learning more words in the future. He's gonna he's gonna be fluent oh. in Visaya. Are you gonna be fluent in Visaya, oh. honey? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, very good, very good. Someday. Yes. Someday we'll get there. So I guess anybody watching, these are great words to learn. It'll help you out when you travel to the Philippines. There are awesome people over there. They love to communicate, and uh, being able to communicate with them would be a huge plus. So, uh, my second trip over there, which hopefully will be this fall, should be a different experience uh, for me at least uh, going over there. So, right. Excited. It's exciting. No, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You did good today. Very good. Very good. Yay! Okay. Um, yeah, that's all for today, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Kevin, you did good. Yay! Thank you for watching. And we will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.